Hello, and welcome to the show. A couple of episodes ago, I looked at using Emulation Station to emulate about 30 retro gaming consoles on a Windows laptop. But what if you don't really want 30 retro gaming consoles? You want to get up and running as fast as possible in the easiest possible way. Well, this video is for you. So in this episode, I'm going to look at emulating on a Windows system an Atari 2600, a Super Nintendo, and the venerable Commodore 64. So first things first, you need to get a controller, whether you're going to use the Xbox 360 controller I used a couple of episodes ago, or you're going to get yourself a USB version of one of the Super Nintendo style controllers, that's personal preference. Get the controller talking to your computer, and that's it for the controller setup. One thing to note, and the reason that Emulation Station is sometimes a really great solution, in Emulation Station, you only set up the controller once. With these individual emulators that we're talking about in this video, you need to set up the controller for each emulator. Okay, so in my example, I'm going to use the Xbox 360 controller again. Head over to the Microsoft site, find the Xbox 360 controller software for your particular version of your operating system, download and install. Just make sure that your controller is talking to the operating system and that part's finished, we're right to go. Okay, so the emulator of choice for the Atari 2600 system is called Stella. So find a web browser, type in Stella Atari 2600. One of the links will probably be the SourceForge download. Download that particular file and you're ready to go. Double click on it, follow the bouncing ball for the install. It is an install, it's not just a zip file. So once that is installed, probably have a Stella icon on your desktop and that's it. So take a look around in the menu choices for Stella once you've fired it up. You can change the screen resolutions. You can make sure that your controller is set up the way you want it in the actual application. And all you do to fire up a game, find the ROM files, simply browse like you would normally with Windows Explorer. Browse through, find a particular ROM file, double click and run. So what about the Super Nintendo? The emulator of choice for Super Nintendo on Windows is ZSNES. It is not an installer, it's just a zip file, link to the uh, file in the description of this video. So download the zip file, unzip it to a folder, and that's it. It's a simple, ex simple executable. Double click on that to fire up the actual emulator. Again, this one is menu driven, so you can see video configuration files, you can change your controller setups, and of course you can browse and find the ROM file of your choice to start playing your games. Okay, so what about the Commodore 64? Well, in this particular case, I've chosen two emulators. Um, there are a few choices, Vice is noteworthy, uh, a fantastic emulator, so accurate, it will actually even give you an artificial disk drive whirring noise as you're loading up a program. But in this case, I've chosen CCS64. Uh, it is another menu-driven system, so it makes it easier for those not familiar with the Commodore 64 or can't remember the commands to quickly and easily get up and running and playing games. Some of the great features of the CCS64 emulator include speed up. Uh, five times normal speed or maximum possible speed. For those that can remember, loading Commodore 64 games from tape or from disc can actually take up to 20, even 30 minutes depending on the size of the game. This particular emulator will speed up that process and load a game within a few seconds. The other emulator for the Commodore 64 is called C64 Forever. Again, download link in the description for this video. This particular one comes in a free version as well as a paid for version, around about $15 at the time of this video was made. It is a fantastic solution if you just wanna get straight up and running gaming. It comes with some pre-included games as well as a very slick front end to either emulate the Commodore 64 by itself 
or simply select a game from a list of games, double click and you're up and running. So thanks very much for joining me for this video, hope you found it useful. By all means, subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you've liked it, and I hope you'll join me again next time.